welcome welcome everyone welcome back to the channel super happy as always to be here for another episode of my christmas decorate with me my living room and we're going to keep it really short and spicy in the intro because we have so much to get cover we're going to be uh decorating the tree and the living room and we're going to continue to keep it in that same color palette um of uh, the the dark green and the uh, emerald green the ivory the white the gold a touch of brown and for that classic modern festive setting that I'll be using throughout my entire space and if you're here today for the first time welcome to the channel as always I am super happy to have you here with me and I hope you will continue to stick around here and to all my returning subscribers thank you all so much for your kindness your loyal support to the channel i've seen them all i thank you all for the beautiful comments and the thumbs up and i love and appreciate you all dearly and to all my newly subscribers because we've been getting some newly subscribers daily and i'm so grateful grateful from the bottom of my heart grateful grateful for all of you and i thank you for being here and clicking on that subscribe button and becoming a member of my youtube family and if you're here visiting my channel right now for the first time welcome and i hope that you will consider um becoming a member of my youtube family by clicking on that subscribe button and when you click click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell twice i'm saying this for a reason because a lot of people are not getting the video because when they subscribe um they are not hitting the subscribe button uh, i mean the notification bell twice so that you can get everything so i like to um bring that out there so that you could understand a little bit more of how it works all right so um yeah we are gonna get busy because we have a lot of work to do and i thank you all so much for joining me today and let's get straight into today's video Okay, I'm going to be starting off the space with the tree. I'm going to be decorating the tree and this is a seven and a half a pre uh quick set jasper tree from Michael's. It's a year old. I, it's still available on, uh, on the website. I saw it there and I'm going to do uh, most of the areas that are, are needed for a uh, fast mode just to prevent the video from uh, being too extra long. These are some DIY that I did and most of the ornaments are DIY ornaments that I did between last year and this year. I'm going to be using four uh, golden garlands that I repainted. They were originally wooden from the uh, Heart and Hand collection and I repainted them uh, gold. going to be cascading the garland to the two side of the tree for that nice classic look that I love. I'm going to be adding these white berry stems uh, picks to the tree that I mentioned about incorporating these white berries throughout the entire home. Mm -hmm. 
These are some smaller berries that I repainted from red to white and I'm going to use these smaller ones to the top of the tree. It would not be Christmas without a lit star on top of the tree. And as I mention all the time, I change out my hard work to represent the season. Okay, now I'm going to be adding the garland to the crescenda, and this is a real feel Christmas garland with red berries that I and painted white that I'm going to be incorporated throughout the garland and throughout the entire space as well. Now let's start the crescenda. I'm going to be using two garlands to the crescenda and I'm going to pretend as if it's a fireplace. <laughs> this is my fireplace. <laughs> All right. So I'm um, using a six feet and a nine, nine feet garland to the crescenda. I use two heavy duties. Um, come on hooks to the two hands of the garland, uh, the crescendo to hold the garland in place. And then I use a piece of the, 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 the stem from the garland to twine around the hooks to keep them in place. Now I'm adding the second garland to give it that nice full fluff look. Now I'm bringing in the DIY berries and I'm going to incorporate them throughout the entire end of the garland. And right here you see me moving, <laughs> I'm singing and I'm dancing because my local station uh, 106.7 uh, the original Christmas station has kicked off their Christmas music at 5 o'clock p.m. today when I was styling, um, when I was decorating my home. So I was so excited and I just could not help but to sing and dance while I decorate my home. And I'm going to be uh, bringing in my record player and I'm going to be blasting my Christmas carol to Vandross uh, coming up shortly. Now I'm going to be adding these gold mini bells to the garland and this is originally a, a roped uh, garland bell uh, that I took the rope off and I'm just going to incorporate them. I'm going to use a stem from the garland and just slip them through that little hold. Uh, just, this is just my style, my way, my idea. Now I'm adding my 12 cubit oversized metal taper candelabra antique brass from the Heart and Hand collection and I'm going to be inserting uh, 12 candles. Uh, these are battery operated candles that I got from Amazon. Then I'm adding a set of two golden trees to the end of the crescendo. And it wouldn't be a fireplace without some stocking odors, right? <laughs> so I'm bringing in four texturized, all different textures of uh, stocking odors uh, to the crescendo. Now I'm adding this three-quarter brown velvet ribbons to the four stockings and this ribbon that I'm being incorporating throughout my entire space. And it would not be stocking holders without some stocking stuffers inside. For a more realistic lived in look, and placing our uh, Christmas socks that we're going to be wearing on Christmas morning inside all these stockings holders. 
ordered some uh, names, individual names for these stockings on Etsy and they got delayed in shipment and I'm so disappointed with that. Now I'm heading to the space, this wooden uh, record player stand slash record holder and I'm going to be placing my record uh, player on top and my record uh, inside the compartment. Now I'm going to be blasting my Christmas Luther Vandross album while I decorate. I wish you guys could hear what's going on up in here. I'm festive, I'm happy. And this record player was gifted to me from my little teenage son last year Christmas. Moving over to the coffee table, starting off with this DIY vessel. And I'm placing these beautiful uh, stems from the Studio McGee this year. And I think they're still available. Now to the right of the table, the set of uh, Christmas crystal and gold trees from the Studio Maggie last year and a festive candle. To the rear right of the table, a set of large and small black reindeer for some contrast. I'm having my fluted ceramic bowl to the right of left of the table and these are some leftover garland from the tree that I'm just using them up uh, to create a nice little vignette right here. Then I'm going to add some ornaments to the bowl that I did not use on the tree this year. So I'm going to be like incorporating it in another way throughout the space. The center of the bowl is a pine cone candle and some greenery for a more festive look. Now off the table with this brown satin ribbon that I'm incorporating throughout the space. Moving over to my chest, changing out my heart work for the season. I do that every year, I mean every season. And this beautiful lamp from the Studio McGee, a crystal platter, and I'm going to use it to create a little festive uh, vineyard right here. some Jupiter berry stems that I have from last year that I'm just using them up uh, to create this little idea. Now I'm going to add a stack of scented pine cone to the center of the vignette. Finishing it off with these DIY white berries that I painted earlier. For some contrast and a festive look, bringing in a gold tree and finish it off with this white house uh, to complete the look. Now I'm adding this velvet ribbon that I use at my entryway on my DIY wreath uh, to the lamp for a more festive and nice Christmassy look. Moving over to my book stand, it was originally uh, where the tree is, that's where it's normally be, but you know, I changed it around for the season for to accommodate the tree. And that frame is a vintage Christmas tree print. And I'm bringing in my babies there and a little greenery to the top.
to the next shelf, I'm having this set of black wooden snowflakes stand from Hobby Lobby to the left of the shelf. Then I'm going to contrast it with this white striped black and white and gold uh, ceramic tree. So I'm bringing in the sets of Vintage Bell. It's a set of three. These are the two, large and medium, and I change out the rope uh, to keep it on the festive side. I have this little vintage card. I have this little card here for a few years now, probably about four years now, and I love it so much. I bring it out every year. Moving on to the final shelf, I create another little vignette here. And these are some uh, ornaments that I did not use this year as well. And these are some paper mache. And I just uh, stuck them in a bowl and had some greenery for a nice Christmassy festive look. To the end table, I bring in a little deer with uh, the same ribbon that I'm incorporating throughout the space and another little vignette right there. Yes, keeping it really festive. I'm having this 12 feet real feel uh, garland with these cute little white tiny berries and pine cones right over on top of my French door. There's three nails, two at the end and one in the middle to hold the garland and then use a piece of the stem from the garland to twine around the nail to keep it in place. Over to my mirror, I'm using stems that I already have to create a little swag right here. using that same brown satin ribbon that I'm incorporating throughout this space. Changing out some more artwork right between my French door. Then I'm just gonna uh, drape my first tree skirt around the tree collar for a more nicer look. Bringing in some fireplace wood, cause remember, we are pretending as if it's actually a fireplace. These are the set of friends that I have uh, for many years now. Uh, that's the Brooklyn Bridge and the Empire State Building. Onto the sofa, to the right corner of the sofa, uh, emerald green, through a blanket uh, for a pillow, the pillow covers from Amazon, and this beautiful fur uh, through a blanket that I love so much. It is so warm and cozy. And then I'm just going to add some more uh, uh, pillows right there in the corner of the sofa. That tree. Uh, Pillow is from Home Goods. I changed out the insert for a nicer look and bringing a little touch of leather right here to the space. Over to my armchair, I'm going to call it the Santa chair for the season and a set of a uh, throw blanket and a matching pillow. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. Now I'm going to be bringing out my son's violin. He used to play violin when he was in elementary school, but some, for some reason he stopped and I don't like that. And I just take it out at Christmas time to remind him that he needs to pick it up back again and play a little tune at Christmas time. <laughs> I'm 
lining up the space with these real feel wreath and pine cone to the two black doors. Of course, the space would not be finished without a mistletoe. I'm going to hang up my mistletoe. I do not know what's going to happen underneath the mistletoe, but I'm going to hang it up anyway. Now it's time for me to take you on a festive Christmas journey.
has been an awesome festive day hanging out and decorating with you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video uh, please don't forget to give me a big thumb up uh, comment if you have to share the video if you choose to and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and hit the notification bell twice so you won't miss any of my video when i upload it until next time this is aretha wishing you a happy thanksgiving from our family to your and I see you in the next one. And please watch out for my kitchen Christmas decorate with me coming up a week from today.